So David, uh, you have an interesting topic this week. You pointed out that the National Republican Congressional Campaign Committee has started running fake news sites aimed at boosting Republican candidates for Congress. What do you think of these sites? Well, it's a little sketchy. Apparently it's legal. It's uh, they, Basically what they've done is, you know, they take out the, they, they set up these these websites all the time that are basically just attacks for the Democratic opposition in various different uh, districts where there are close races. Uh, so what they've done this time is they set them up to look like little sort of community news sites. Homey. <laughs> yeah. Well, cozy, yeah. yeah. Uh, so they've done this uh, in about 20 districts apparently, uh, just, just launched them, uh, including one here in Massachusetts uh, where Richard Tisse, the Republican, is challenging John Tierney, uh, who is in a primary against a couple others, but that's the district. Say, of course, a couple years ago, came pretty close to unseating John Tierney, but couldn't quite do it. Yeah, and I think that one of the things that hurt him was that the NRCC, the National Republic, uh, Republican Committee, uh, couldn't stay out. They, they had to jump in there and run ads and do these kinds of websites. And all that serves to do is remind mm -hmm. people in the district of what they don't like about the National Republicans. Uh, Richard Tisse does a very good job of distancing himself from the National Republican brand. Uh, and this kind of thing jumps in there and is going to remind people of what they don't like. Let me ask you about the aesthetics of the site. Is someone going to confuse this with a real news site? I, to click on? I, I think it's going to depend on where you click to it from. You know, if they run little little ads on the web that you click on thinking that yeah. it's going to be a website, a news site, it really looks like a news snooker. site right. until you get, get down to the disclaimer at the bottom. David Bernstein, thanks as always. Thank you for watching The Scrum. I'm Adam Riley. We will see you again soon.